Hi guys, I'm going to try to show you uh, what I was talking about with the Trotec and sending the jobs over correctly. Um, forgive me if uh, things are a little bit quirky here. Uh, I'm running this on a Mac through Parallels and I don't quite have all the, the scrolls for zooming in and out uh, set up correctly yet. So um, if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's I'm going to blame it on the on the computer right now. So this is typically what what I was talking about in the thread, where the red would would be the uh, size of your workpiece, and then you have this text in here that you want to engrave over. And if you send the whole job over, then it's going to see that red as being the size of the job. And if you put high quality engraving on, it's going to engrave back and forth across the entire thing, which is something that is not very desirable. So what I would suggest is um, a couple different ways. There's always several ways. There, there's no real right and wrong way. There's just different ways. Um, if I had this job, this is what I would probably do. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to look and I'm going to see that the center of it is at X13 and Y minus 1.5. So I'm going to delete this rectangle here real quick. Uh, I could actually just put it on a different layer and turn that layer off, but just for ease of use, I'll show you this. So we're going to go into the preferences and we're going to make sure minimize to job size is turned on and that's going to shrink the job to whatever size that text is and then we're going to go in I've set up this material just as uh, something we can play with so right now it's set on default so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and turn high quality on we're going to leave correction at zero because essentially high quality is doing the same thing that correction will do but in this case uh, it's a small graphic so you're probably fine with just using high quality so just say okay uh, make sure everything's set up right here uh, I'm not sure how this is explained but these settings are pretty important we always use color and I know sometimes it will revert back to um, ordered dithering and that can cause you some issues but uh, we're going to use standard and, and color we're going to send that over and we'll give it a name and we should see that come over here so there's the job and you can see in the, the preview that it's real small now it's just the outside edges of the boundaries of that graphic so I'm going to go into plate and we're going to add a marker and I knew the center of that was 13 and I believe it was an uh, inch and a half down so we're going to put a marker right there then I can take this text over here and it'll snap to the center of that so now the job is only from just about 11 inches to 15 inches and if you have high quality on it's only going to go the length of that job right there so that should resolve the issue that uh, is being discussed online about the high quality taking a lot longer uh, it won't take a lot longer in this case you probably wouldn't even see a difference at all if at all it would maybe be a second or two so that's that's one quick way to do that, uh, we're going to put that job back over and I'll delete this marker. And here's another way. Um, I had the machine for a year, didn't, didn't know you could do this, but uh, don't know why I didn't think of it. You can do it in every other graphics program. But if you knew that the edge of that was going to be at 11 and you wanted the top of it to be an inch down you can just drag rulers to those points and if you don't get it exactly right you can double click on that and you can tell it exactly where you want that ruler to be so then you can take your job over here and you can snap to that ruler so that, that's very helpful too um, it's got a lot of uses if you want to get rid of it then you can double click it and just hit delete and that'll get rid of that but 
Um, either way works fine. It's whatever's easiest for you, but hopefully that will will uh, clear up some of the confusion on some of the things that are going on out there. Uh, any questions, just uh, leave me a comment or shoot me an email or leave a post on the forum and we'll look at it and see what we can do. Uh, hope that helps.